Welcome to another Saturday Meals, guys. We are having, as Miss Marty Pan says, Dentfest. And we are going to make my rendition or my version of Village Skillets. Village and Skillets? Village and Skillets. Oh, okay. What's Village Skillets? Well, whatever. All in villages. All right, so at the beginning of the video, you saw all the ingredients. Here I have my uh, Polish sausage. Let me see if I can get this right here. Actually, it's like kielbasa, Polish kielbasa. That's what that is. Okay. So I got my skittle with some bacon. I had fried up some bacon. And I'm going to put this in here. Here's my little flimsy spatula. Thank you. Okay, so you just want this to cook some and brown. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is get my diced potatoes here. I put them in salt water. I cut them. We'll peel them. And you can have them this size if you want, or you can have them smaller like I did. Not that small, but smaller like I did with the uh, sabatier. So I'm just going to put this in here, and I'm not going to cook these all the way because I'm going to let the oven finish cooking them. The reason why I have them on the paper towel is because I had them brining in salt water and I needed to dry them out. Okay. That's good. Now you don't have to put this in the oven. I mean, you can go ahead and just finish cooking them here. And then, yeah, if you want some of that crispiness on the potato, And I'm going to add a little bit, not a whole lot, of my chicken rub to give it some flavor, which the kielbasa has flavor. Okay. And I'm going to add a little black pepper to it. Right here. Okay. This is a special meal. This is for Miss Smarty Pants. And I'm doing it like two or three days later. You don't know what my birthday is tomorrow. I do. Two yeah. or three. <laughs> no, I do. Her birthday is February the 14th. And have already passed, so I decided to do this Saturday because she wanted this. So I'm making it special for her for her birthday. My Valentine's baby. I could have made it on her day but I was in so much labor with her. Oh God, here we go. Tuesday, I decided I'd take a break. Wednesday, Mom, my birthday was Wednesday. Well, see, I was so much in labor, I didn't know what day your birthday was. <laughs> day. So. And not having the second kid was a whole lot easier. No. <laughs> so now I'm doing it for the Saturday meal. Happy belated birthday, my cousin. Well, thank you. What about Damon's birthday? When is her birthday? You know, I don't know. <laughs> See, you know sometime in, in November. Okay. <laughs> okay I would know if I would have got her from a, a breeder, but I found her, so mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, when this gets almost halfway done, I'll come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, actually, I let this cook for about 15 minutes. Like I said, you don't have to put it in the oven. Some of these are done and some of them are not. So, because I need to add the next layer. Here I have a half of a half of onion, because that was a big onion that I have. I have one bell pepper chopped, and I have two jalapenos. So I'm just going to put these in here, besides wasting it all over the stove. Guys, my stove is finna go bye-bye. I think that stove's been on its last limb for like a year or so. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting ready to go bye-bye. So you know guys, I always got something to say, right? So, I'm waiting for a special package from a special YouTube fan. We got two of the special package, but the one didn't show up. But the post office said that it was delivered. But it was delivered to the wrong address, which is my next door neighbor. So, we called back to the post office again all last week and today, and I said, well, what you guys going to do? Well, I already had my neighbor's number, which she's pretty cool. And so, I called and asked, you know, because I thought they were gone for a while. They usually leave for a while, so I thought they were gone. And... <clears throat> I heard their dog bark and I said, oh, they're back. So I called and I think she got a little offended with me, kind of got a little ticked, which I, you know, really don't care. So I asked her the question, <coughs> was the package misdelivered? And she goes and gave me this lecture about a whole bunch of crap that I wasn't listening because it sounded like wah, 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 wah. Well, that's not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to see, for her to say either yes or no. So, in the end, excuse me, <coughs> it's the peppers. So don't sit up here and talk about, you know, coughing and hacking and stuff all over the place. I didn't do it right. I didn't. Oh, okay. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> so... So I'm a little, little upset. The post office, the people here at USPS, oh Lord, they just, they too much for me. They're awful. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. They're awful. They're I awful. complained about them in my video during Christmas. I'm, I'm, I'm done with the post office. They can't never get it right here. Never. I wish, I really do wish, and even uh, United, uh, what do you call that, the US, US, you United, United States Postal Service. No, I'm trying to talk about one with the brown truck. Oh, that's UPS. Yeah, mom. UPS. <laughs> I wish FedEx would just take over. Because sometimes we get our package and they'll tell us, did you look on the roof? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Who does that? They do. Who throws the package on the roof? I don't know. Or right, let alone put it in the back when they know they can't get you the fence <laughs> and then say that they left it at the back door. I uh, know. Alright, so I'm putting my sliced mushrooms in. Okay. And then leave it back behind somebody's car and be like, we delivered it in the, to the back door. Live. No, you didn't. Yeah. We got a very busy alley, so why in the heck would you leave a package in the alley? Which they do. You know, so I am very upset, very hurt about the YouTuber's package. Very, very upset. <coughs> my family's package. I'm just, oh my goodness. And then go talk to the neighbors about it, which I think when I went to talk to the neighbors, <coughs> they, asked, they asked me, requested me to go and talk to her. That was like starting a situation that should never have been started. So now she has an attitude. 
And so therefore it makes me have an attitude, which we kind of been having a little problem with her anyway, kind of. Not enough to really talk about, but kind of. It's just the attitude thing, the behavior towards us. All right, so you want to let this cook up, saute up. Okay, not all the way because I don't want the onions to really get um, caramelized. <coughs> so now I'm going to put jalapeno uh, rotel hot. You don't have to. And if you don't have, uh, you can use regular tomato. <laughs> or you can use uh, red bell pepper. See, or you can use all three, red or green. Yes, you can. Look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> all right, so now what I'm getting ready to do, let me pick up some water here. I have me a grease bacon sheet here. Bacon grease. And I'm just going to put this over here. Okay, and then I'm going to spread it out. Just like that. And then I'm going to put it in the oven on 350. And it should be ready to go by the time I get through with the next layer. Okay, so now yeah. we're going to make some country gravy. Here I have the Italian hot sausage. This is what Miss Smarty Pants like. And I'm going to put it in here. You can wash my hands. Okay. Now we're just going to break it up. And then put it in oil in here. With these pots of pans, you really don't have to put oil in here at all. I just love these things. <laughs> okay, you just want to do that. Yeah. Because the Italian sausage has its own oil. And you would just want to try to break it up. Okay. And something else I gotta say too, y'all. It's a comment. Now, when you come into my kitchen, all my YouTube family, you guys know you're welcome, and we learn it. And we learn it together. If you don't like kids being in my video, all up in the video, then you need to cook the hell off. Excuse my language. Because what you just did, you came and disrespect me and my home and my YouTube family is why they here. That's what you just did. And I don't appreciate that. Like I told you, I defend my cubs at any cost, in all costs. So I don't need you to come in here. You said that the video was nice or it was, was good. You liked the video. I'm glad you did. But you want me to not have my kids, which two of my kids are totally grown. One is only eight. And the one that you were talking about was the eight-year-old when he was a baby. 
If you don't like it, like I said before, click the hell off. Yeah. As Martin say, get to stepping. Just that stuff up. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Nah, you should say you don't want my kids all up in the video, all up on the album. Then you need to cut the deck rock. <laughs> And if you don't know, now you know, you know. You see, I be trying to get her up with the time. <laughs> All right. She knows them songs, don't I you, Mom? I do. <laughs> I like Notorious B.I.G. I love me some Tupac. <laughs> so I sure do. Can we get some hand claps in the comments? She knows who we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I she like know about Ludacris. Yep, who love me some Ludacris? <laughs> sure do. I like Eva Eve. Eve is pretty. She is. Okay, so you just want to do this right here. Now what I'm going to do is put flour in here. Okay, so this is what Miss Smarty Pants wants. Maybe I need to chop this up a little more with the slim spatula. You don't have to. I got all my teepees. <laughs> you got all your teepees? All my teepees. Well, I need to go get me some teepees in the bag. You only get one set for the rest of your life after you lose them. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take care of them. <laughs> I know, and I'm taking care of the ones that I got, I tell you. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. All right, so I have some flour here. And I'm going to sprinkle that over there. Try to cook the flour out. Now I'm gonna put some milk in here. I have two percent milk. You ain't using that whole milk? No. Why? No, I don't want to. Why? Because I don't want to. Why? Will you stop? I'm asking you why. Because I don't want to. Why not whole milk? I like two percent milk. That's all you had to say. Now, could people use whole milk if they wanted they to? They could use whole milk, 2% milk, no milk, water. Ew, water. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead under water. I don't want no gravy made with no water. Has anybody had gravy with water? I used to all the time. Oh! <laughs> Has absolutely no flavor. It tastes like water. Yeah, it doesn't have any flavor. Okay. I might have to go back in here and add some more flour. Add a little more milk. And I think I will have to add some more flour. Well, I don't think we have any whole milk anyway. I think I drank it all. Let's see, there you go. <laughs> okay. Now, country gravy is, is, is white. This is because I use Italian sausage, which it has its color. Okay, so you just want to constantly stir this up until it gets thick on you. Now you can go in here, and I might, I, I don't think so, add some chicken uh, better than bouillon. Yes, you will. Okay. Well, the Italian sausage is already seasoned. Yeah, when you mix pork and chicken together, doesn't it taste very, very good? Yes, it does. Like if you ain't taking your own tips. Well, because it, because we're doing the Polish. So. <laughs> guys, let me go get the better than bouillon. Okay, okay. guys, so I'm using about this much of chicken bouillon, and that's probably about a, a teaspoon. 
and you just want to mix this now you see how the gravy got thick now that's probably a little bit too thick so I will go and add some more milk Look like perfect gravy to me but then again you know I make granny gravy so yes. I have no problem with sticking the spoon in there and it not move <laughs> <laughs> yes you don't <laughs> that's the way my granny used to make the gravy all right let me have a little taste mm. you don't need nothing else See, I told you. Yeah. Put the chicken flavor in. Better than bouillon chicken flavoring makes everything taste great. It does. It really does. I'm going to add just a little more milk. Even if you put it in plain rice and you have some gravy, that makes it taste great too. Okay, I add maybe about third cup of milk left. I think total I've added two cups of milk. Now, if you feel that it's getting too thick, as I always say, adjust your seasoning, adjust your flavoring. If this gets too thick, you add milk. If it's too loose, you make the flour paste. And see, there's no lumps. No lumps, bumps, or goops. If you make gravy from scratch from chicken, better than bouillon chicken, that tastes good too. I know and soup okay all right you can even boil your chicken in better than boil <laughs> let me shut up <laughs> i have did that to give it a little more flavor i mean i'm just being the bubba gup of better than bouillon i wish you stopped bubba <laughs> okay what you hear is our dryer Okay, you just want this to get just a little more thicker, and you're good to go. So back to the the male person. So they said they said basically they really don't care. They don't care if you and your neighbors get into it. They don't care. It's all about a paycheck for them. And they don't do very good service in no way. Which, you know, I can, I can understand. I get it. Everybody got to get their money any way that they can. But at some point, I think um, the Postal Service, as a corporation, should be reliable for these packages when it's in their hands. Mm -hmm. How is it not, they're never reliable? They're never reliable, but then again, they're the one delivering it. If I didn't go get the, the, the stupid box myself, I would, but I can't. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and as I always say, guys, my family, if you're going to send a package, put the insurance on it. Because let me tell you about the insurance. Even though they give you $50 uh, insurance right off the bat, if you don't put $50 in the insurer thing, USOL. Literally. Because Smarty already had sent the package to her mother in law. And she thought it was already insured because of the postal people. And then come to find out the postal people in another state turned around and gave it to someone else. And then when she tried to claim it, they said she didn't have no insurance on it. So therefore, it makes it like your fault yes. when it's not your fault. It's their fault because it was in their hands. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. How come they ain't never reliable and they the ones who's doing all of it? Yeah, and I do think it's an inside job. I really do. I think, you know, these postal people get sick and tired of mail is, uh, coming to people's houses delivering mail. So they just go in, like I read on the internet here a couple of, about a week ago, some postal person put all everybody everybody's packages and mail and stuff in the Kansas City River. At least you know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel some type of way when I don't know where it's at and it's just mysteriously gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least I can just sit out there a couple of days and see if it washes ashore. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
And Miss Smarty Pants used to be a mail carrier, so she already know how that goes. No, guy, I quit. I was done. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> okay, guys, this is done. I will come back, I think, with the finish and the plate. Okay, I, just, I just took this out of the oven, and I just want you to see. Look at this right here. Mm. Some kind of wonderful. Okay. All right. Now this time I'll be back with the finish and the okay, plate. Okay, guys. Product. So here is my version of the Village Inn skillet. If I'm saying that right, and this is for Miss Smarty Pants' birthday, belated birthday. I took the um, the country gravy and put it on top. I fried up some eggs, and I I, I like mine's like that. Okay, just like ooze down. Okay, and of course you know I season it chicken rub. with the chicken rub. That's all right. Okay, so guys, I want you to make this. Let me know you liked it. Rate, comment, give me a thumbs up, which is rating. Share, share is caring. Share me everywhere. And I want to thank to all of my YouTube subscribers. Thank you for sticking with me for just being with me period I love every last one of you you know I do every last one of you thank you for letting my numbers go up I appreciate that like I said I don't care if I only have just 80 people still and I don't care if I have a one still you deserve a good Saturday meal you really do alright guys so I'm still waiting for you guys to give me a quote what I'm supposed to say at the end Jess Bree says she like when I say, uh, stay blessed, be blessed, and always be a blessing. Shout out to Jess Bree for always paying attention. Yeah. Uh, she's on it. Sharp mind. I love it. She, she, she <laughs> is. I love her. I love her. And I love all of my cheering because I'm getting, you guys are calling me Mama Carlos, and I am so thrilled with that. I love that. So if I don't get called Mama Carlos, I get called Auntie Carlos. And that's cool with me because I love each name. Just don't call me the B word because then I'm going to have to clap back on you, alright? So, what about Grandmammy Carlos? There ain't no Grandmammy because I'm not a granny. Yes, you are. I'm Diamond's a here. A doll grandmother, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, guys, stay loving, be loving, as I always love you, and bless the love. Miss Smarty Pants to say, see ya. I'll see you next Saturday.